This bridge has the longest span of any cable state bridge in the world. It faces challenges that would destroy any ordinary bridge. The water is too deep, the seabed too soft, and an earthquake fault line cuts through the middle. How do you design a bridge to overcome nature's worst? What does it take to build one of the world's mega bridges? This is the Gulf of Corinth in Greece. It is deep, wide, long, great attributes for marine traffic, but a nightmare for traveling by land. The Gulf of Corinth virtually chops Greece in two. The only land route between southern Greece and the rest of Europe is 150 miles east. Bridging the Gulf has been a goal for more than a century. But it was impossible until now. Enter the Rian Antirian Bridge. This colossal bridge is the first ever to cross the Gulf of Corinth. It clears the water by 170 feet, leaving room for the biggest ships. The design of the Rian Antirian Bridge looks deceptively simple. 368 sleek cables, four conical towers, a yellow ribbon of roadway. At night, it glows. But the true brilliance of this bridge is how it overcame the enormous challenges of building here. Challenges so mind-boggling, they stumped engineers for decades. Top of the list, earthquakes. Other bridges have been built in earthquake zones, but this bridge must cross an active seismic fault line. And it gets worse. The water here is extremely deep, 200 feet. No bridge anywhere had been built with foundations this deep. It would take a daring plan to overcome these hurdles. April 1996. The only link across the Gulf of Corinth is ferry boat. In perfect weather, it takes 45 minutes. A bridge would reduce that to five. So for decades, the Greek government had solicited new bridge designs. Nothing ordinary could succeed. Yet designers' options are limited. Virtually all bridge designs are based on just four bridge types. Beam arch, suspension, and cable stayed. Choosing the right starting design is crucial. The main criterion is length. The Rian Antirian Bridge must be one and a third miles long. The longest bridges in the world are beam bridges, but this design would be a disaster in the Gulf of Corinth. The flat road spans must be supported from below every few hundred feet. The hundreds of support piers would block major ship traffic. It is a non-starter. An arch bridge can stay clear of huge ship traffic, but to span the Gulf of Corinth would require an arch bridge four times bigger than ever built before. It is too risky. Another dead end. A suspension bridge can leap the farthest of any design. Enormous cables stretch from one shore to the other. Shorter cables hang down from the main cables to hold the roadway. But all these steel cables make suspension bridges expensive. Billions of dollars. Greece cannot afford to build one. Suspension is out. This leaves only one option, a cable stayed design. Here there are no expensive main cables. Instead, the smaller cables hang directly from towers. But no cable stayed bridge ever built could survive the demands of the Gulf of Corinth.
the most promising plan comes from a French company, Vinci. Vinci's design would attempt to build the world's longest continuously suspended road span. It would require four consecutive towers, something never before tried. A 7,000-foot roadway would hang from the giant towers. This means the towers would bear the entire weight of the bridge. To support this enormous weight, the towers must be planted on extremely solid ground. <laughs> 